Hey to you, crew. Um, I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Happy Easter uh, to those of you who celebrate that. And amazing. Oh, man. Oh, man. The comments are going already. You guys are incredible. Well, let me do it. Let's do a quick location drop. If you're here, number one, smash that like button because that's what the PDP Army does. So smash that like button. And then two, drop where you are from so we know where in the world everybody is. And I'm going to try. I'm going to make the heroic attempt to try and catch up on the comments right now. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Oh, my daughter just sent me powers through wife uh, for the workout. Who's now out here? Wife's out here. Um, what? No. <laughs> uh, so let me catch up on the comments. Okay. Uh, let's see. Denise got comment number one. Good job, Denise. Danny. Hi, hi. James, third today, uh, is your knee feeling better? Denise, how is that knee feeling? Yes, may have been a little unwise yesterday. Denise, take care of yourself. James, too much fun with the uh, <laughs> Easter hunt. Yep, got my rower hooked up to Zwift through the Road bi road Biker app. I didn't even know that existed. And it, a uh, 45-minute row, then did the Epic uh, KOM. I wonder what I can do without Barbell Row and Ben. Don't worry, we were, I'm going to talk through it. Ask Shane, I'm sure you can give you various. I just wanted to give you, Danny, you'd asked for equipment needs. So I wanted to lay those things out. They're not required. They just are uh, things that we can use. So um, always burpees. Yeah, just for whatever, just sub it with burpees. Um, you know, I thought about that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Kim. Happy you're here, Leslie. Hello from sunny Seattle. I feel like Southern California is feeling a little bit like Seattle right now. We are basically Seattle with the amount of rain we've had lately. Um, new to rowing and so happy I found the Dark Horse community. We, we are so happy you're here, Leslie. I'm um, excited to join you all for my first live workout. Let's do this. Donation made. Yes. Okay, really quick. Before we start, guys, I do want to call it. Today's Kelly Sullivan Day. She is a fellow ambassador at my Lululemon store where I'm an ambassador as well. Um, and uh, she is the mother of a new child. And uh, she just came. Oh, well, not just about a month ago, uh, found out that she has breast cancer. And she is now going through chemo with all of this happening, as well as having an under a child on um, her first child under one. And um, so this today's workout is dedicated to her and donation based to her. So if you guys can and you have the means, um, please consider a donation. The link is in the description of this video. So please, please, please consider donating uh, to Kelly today to help her and her family out. Um, Let's see, Denise, welcome, Leslie. You're going to love it. I really hope so, Leslie. I think you will. Hi, Leslie. You will love it. Great people. And the master Shane is awesome. Rebecca, my first time. Rebecca, welcome. Happy you're here. Joanne, Joanne made it, everybody. Danny, welcome, Rebecca. Click that like. Love that. Smash that like button, guys. Uh, Joao is here. He made it. Hello, everybody. How was the weekend? Nancy's made it. He's here. Uh, Denise, I hope we don't miss today's workout. I had a tough time getting it in on Friday. Don't worry. No missed workouts today. It's actually programmed. Got a new whiteboard, so we'll see that for the first time today. Um, welcome, Rebecca. Danny. Hi, Nancy. For those of you that are here, by the way, if this is your first time, please know it takes a few minutes to get through the comments and just welcome everybody to class today. Uh, Joanne, Danny, you can see the link below the video. Erica, there's a link for donation in the description. You guys are all amazing. Love you all. Thank you. Um, happy to be here during our weird times. Leah, we are happy to have you. Janita made it. There you are. Welcome. Good morning, team friends. Uh, hubby's joining today. Amazing. Janita, what is Hubby's name? Um, freezing cold Utah, uh, Philippe Auger. Hey guys, first time doing a live workout with you feeling pumped. Montreal, Canada, uh, Scott, good afternoon. Hi from Czech Republic in Europe. Amazing. Oh man. Jiri. I'm, I am so sorry. I probably got that really wrong. Waved wife and half pint. Half pint isn't in here. Is she, what? what's half pint doing? What's the little one doing? Is she watching a movie? She's watching Little Mermaid. Wife got her into Little Mermaid. <laughs> Times are tough. We are finally allowing TV in this household. Uh, Luvi Sunik. Hi, Shane. What's up? Um, Erica, greetings from Central Illinois. Donation made. Link is in the comments. Home Gym Fitness. Hey, I'm new to your channel. I've been participating over the past few weeks. Really enjoying your workouts. Plus, I'm new to rowing as well. Love having you here. Craig Bindi. Morning. Uh, lovely from the UK. Oh, did I finally catch up? Did an RX Hotel Hell 1440 almost died on Saturday. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that, James. Uh, Caleb, hi from Orange County. Great stuff. Welcome. Another Southern Californian here. Uh, Med is here. Med, welcome. Hi, Shane. Hope you had an amazing weekend. I did. Hubby uh, is my love to me. David to others. <laughs> my love to you. And David to others. I won't call him my love then. Uh, David it is. 
Janita and David. Uh, Jiri, yes, nice, nice pronunciation. I nailed it. Cool, awesome. Um, all right, so guys, uh, what? <laughs> Wife is fixing the uh, workout that I wrote up on the new board. She thinks that my handwriting is not enough uh, for you guys to see it. So she is participating in today's workout, despite the fact that I coached for five years, head coach for five years, and spent a lot of time writing on whiteboards and seminars. Uh, apparently, it's not good enough. By the way, uh, I know, I know for a fact, a good buddy is here. His name is Tyler Combs. Tyler, I haven't seen you comment yet. Want to know where you are? Um, so please drop your comment. Okay, so let's take a look at what today's workout is, guys. Um, I'm gonna. Sorry. That's all right. Uh, wife is probably right. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying she's wrong. I'm just saying that. Oh, this is going to be tough with the reflection. Um, <laughs> we did a we did a glass board in here. Um, so closing this. Uh, nah, it's just the reflection based. Nah, that's all right. No. Doesn't change it. Um, it's okay. You guys, will I'm talking you guys through it anyway. So number one, hashtag Kelly Sullivan Day. If uh, if you're posting about this or reposting it later, um, please do consider uh, using that hashtag Kelly Sullivan Day to make sure we draw awareness for her and uh, drive as much traffic to their page as possible. Next, we're going to warm up. Today is an primarily arm day. So you're going to see a lot of arm work happening in today's workout. By the way, we have 61 people tuned in. Amazing. Joe from Chicago just joined. Joe, happy you're here. Um, next, part B, which is going to be our first part of the workout, is going to be a 10-minute running clock in 10 minutes. Man, I'm sorry if you guys can't see this. Looks like she had the right idea. You can definitely read this better than the white. You're white. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, so in 10 minutes, we are going to do strict press by 8 to 10. Um, a reflective whiteboard. I know. It's, I don't, I didn't really think that piece of it through. Whatever. We will, we'll work on this, Denise. Uh, strict press by 8 to 10. Okay. Band pulls by 8 to 10 with a one minute rest. And we're going to cycle through that for 10 minutes. So the strict press can be done. Um, hold on. I have to show you guys this. <laughs> oh, these guys are so entertaining. Buster. This is Buster. He's coming to say hi. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to keep this here for now to make it easier for you guys to see. So uh, strict press and band pulls, these can both be done with or without equipment. Uh, strict press, if you can find some sort of heavy loaded object at home, then you can use that instead. And then for the band pulls, again, we can use this as a contraction base as opposed to uh, needing an actual band. So, Danny, you were asking, how am I going to do this without equipment? Um, this is what you're going to do. You'll do, uh, just basically a hard contraction for the pole and, and mimicking a pole and then a strict press. Uh, you can find any kind of loaded, um, chickens typically haven't made it into the garage, so I don't know they're going to join for the workout. Um, so, the what's that? We went the other day. <laughs> Our front gate apparently towards the street the other day. Uh, next in 10 minutes as well. You are going to do band flies by 10 to 12. I will demo those when we get to them. Um, again, that will be contraction based if you don't have a band. Um, and then single arm tricep push downs by 10 to 12. Uh, you have a dumbbell, perfect. You can do all of this pretty much with a dumbbell. Then if you have a dumbbell, you can sub that. Uh, single arm tricep push downs by 10 to 12. Everybody can see you in reflection. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. They're getting to see you finally. So you're typically hiding from the camera. Then in our workout, we have two rounds of eight minutes on, four minutes off. Each eight minutes, you're going to start with a 1,000 meter row bike ski run buy-in. So you got to get through your 1,000 meters first. This can be a run in the street. It can be a walk. Demo, uh, obviously, uh, modify as needed. I, I don't know why I said demo. Um, modify this as needed. Okay, You're going to do whatever you need. Essentially, what I'm looking for is like three to four minutes of work for this. So uh, then you go row, bike, ski, run. That's number one. As soon as you're done with that, the remainder of the eight minutes is dedicated to an AMRAP, which is as many rounds as possible, of 25 band pull-throughs or kettlebell swings if you have a kettlebell. Um, if you have a dumbbell, for example, you can do a kettlebell swing basically with a dumbbell, followed by 25 sit-ups, and you will alternate back and forth for the remainder of the eight minutes. You then get a four-minute rest, and then we repeat that whole so that is your brief for today's workout. Um, Wife, well, thank you for putting that in yellow. And Denise, I'm so sorry for having a reflective board. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but we'll, 
we'll come up with a solution for it. We'll find. <laughs> well, yeah, um, we'll go. Yeah, we can use a blackboard paint on a glass board. We'll make it work. Um, okay, questions on today. I don't see Tyler, by the way. Uh, Tyler, I know you're here. If you can't figure out technology, I'm slightly disappointed in you. Um, any questions before we start today? Any questions, any questions, any questions? Let me know. Um, I'm going to move over here so that we can start warming up. Oy. Wife is joining for the workout. Um, I finally take my jacket off. It has been so cold in here lately. Uh, with all of the weather that we've had. Nah. What are you doing? The workout or no? Oh, okay, cool. Um, will you hit the start button on the stopwatch over there? Fantastic. Okay. I see a comment. Danny, uh, can you explain again what can I do without the band? Can the biker be used for a hand workout? For a hard workout? <laughs> but I don't know how the biker could be used for a hand workout. Perhaps you could hold the pedals uh, while sitting on the floor. I suppose that could work. Um, anything is possible. So let's get going with our uh, warm up, guys. I do want to warm up the arms um, pretty well today. So we are going to start, if you will, please. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so if you will guys, please pop up into the push-up position. We're going to start with some scap push-ups. Scap push-ups are that we extend those arms, keep those elbows locked out. You're going to drive your chest up off the floor, and then you're going to let your shoulder blades come and pinch together, and then spread them back apart. All right? Give me 10 of those, please. Make sure your hands are flat to the floor. Good. From here, please put yourself into a downward dog. Get a stretch through the hamstring as well as those shoulders. Uh. Pedal out your heels while you're here because why not? Come on back to that plank. Give me five more scap push ups, please. Good, now give me five push-ups. Chest to deck and back up to the top. Good, walk those hands out wide for me. And just give me some slight back and forths. Give me five per side. Okay. Come on back up to a downward dog. Good, enjoying this time. Um, I'm gonna be totally honest, I've completely forgotten the name of this next pose. It's not a happy baby, but whatever. On our knees, please, hands out in front of you. You're gonna sit those hips back and just give a nice light stretch to that upper back. Make sure those palms are flat on the floor. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna check in. I see a message or two that came in. Just donate for Carrie, uh, for Kelly. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate that. Okay, so setting up. Um, we need a little bit more work through the shoulders to make sure that we are warmed, primed, ready to go with everything. So next we're gonna move on to our wrists. So if you will, please palms flat on the floor. Okay, you're gonna extend those elbows. <clears throat> you're gonna be on your knees. Again, I don't wanna create any pain with this. Um, if you have any restrictions, again, you have to know yourself here, but what we're gonna do is work on stretching out those wrists. So keeping those palms flat, you're gonna give me 10 lean forwards, 10 rock forwards. Make sure the heel of the hand does not come up while you're doing this. You should feel a stretch, and that's kind of the extent of what I'm looking for here. Eight, nine, ten, good. Let's go ahead and flip our hands around now so fingers are pointed towards you. Again, elbows extended. 
Now you're going to rock back. Really focus on extending the elbow here so that you're tapping into that bicep as well. <laughs> okay, now you're going to take those hands and you're going to rotate them in. So last time you went out, you spun out. Now you're going to spin in. Okay, same thing. And then in. And you're going to do 10 more rocks back. Pressing those hands into the floor. Okay, now you're going to go flip the hand down. And you're going to place the top of your hand on the floor. Be gentle with this one, please. <laughs> Don't just crank yourself into it if you've never done this before. Um, just give some nice gentle movement back and forth. If you just need to sit there to just feel a stretch, then that'll work well. Oh, nice. Okay. Now from this position, if you will, please pop up so that you're in a bear crawl position, nice flat back. Knees are just over the floor, just an inch off the floor. Okay. And then I want you to walk your way back. So you're going to bear crawl backwards, okay? Then you're gonna bear crawl to the left, as far as you can. Then you're gonna bear crawl forward. I'm running into wife right now, she's over here hiding. Then you're gonna bear crawl right, okay? And then back yourself up, so you're doing a big square. <laughs> she's chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right so i want you to do give me three more squares of that please <laughs> give you guys a second to uh to get that done good shoulder stretch it is got the dh archive playlist going in the background yes do you like the playlist i'm curious we have a lot of songs in there they're all just songs that i've really enjoyed there's Tyler Combs' is it mating, mating season at the Farmers. <laughs> Tyler finally jumped on. Tyler is actually a teammate of mine from college, you guys, and was texting me beforehand. He was sitting in the live. Apparently, he just figured out how to comment on YouTube. Um, do these videos stay up after the workout is done? They do. They get published live or published afterwards. So, yes, this you'll be able to come back, join this workout again later. Okay. Next, guys, we're going to do some my, one of my favorites, inchworm, okay? So you're going to stand up. You're going to bring those hands to the floor. Feel that nice posterior chain stretch or hamstring stretch. And then you're going to walk those hands forward out to a plank. Give me a push-up, okay? Walk the hands a little bit further to challenge yourself. Walk the hands back to the push-up position. Give me another push-up. And walk the hands back to the feet. And do that again. Let's do that three times total. Feel that stretch. Feel that contraction that comes from spreading the hands out in front of you. This is three. Feel that midline turn on when those hands walk out. <laughs> All right, and stand it up. Okay, you guys are coming with me. All right, next, we're actually going to start getting into the movement portion. So what I mentioned for the movement portion, we're going to start with 10 strict press, um, eight, 8 to 10. <laughs> Our, our chicken has made it to our front door and is going into the house. <laughs> this is our favorite chicken, by the way. She's the nice, uh, she's like the nicest of our chickens. She's very sweet and she likes people. She's one of the, she's one of the only ones that really likes people in our, of our group of chickens. And apparently she just figured out how to get to our front door. Okay. So, um, we're going to start 10 minutes. Okay, I have the clock here. We're going to start in one minute. Strict press by 8 to 10. Now, when I say 8 to 10, that range 
is not if you feel like doing eight, then you do eight. If you feel like doing 10, you do 10. You do eight only if the weight or the intensity that you choose limits you to eight. Your goal is every time to hit 10. If you hit 10 and you have some way of going up in weight or increasing resistance of a band, for example, then you're going to do so, if that makes sense. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so there are multiple ways that this can be done. If you want to press, for example, oops, I have a band here. Let's just give you some options for what can be done. All right. Okay. So what can be done? You could set up with a band under your feet. You could have it into your front rack and be using a band for pressing. <laughs> Almost putting my hand into the pull-up bar. Okay. So this is one option for your press. Another option would be dumbbells from the shoulders. A strict press is a no leg or no assistance press, if you will. So there's no dip and drive of the legs. You are pressing your feet into the floor. You are locking out your knees and you're driving straight overhead for that press. You could also use kettlebells. You could also use a barbell. You could use whatever you needed to in order to accomplish that strict press. And that's the objective is use what you can, use what you have. If you need to load a duffel bag with your dish soap, do it. Use a duffel bag and do one arm at a time or put both hands on that duffel bag and press. Any of that is an option to you, followed by a band pull. A band pull, if you have a band, you will loop it around something or through something, okay? And it is going to be a band pull. You're pulling it to your chest, okay? So we are doing eight to 10 for that, and then we rest a minute together. Does that make sense? Are there any more questions? Danny, uh, for you, you've got a dumbbell, the pressing, done. You could, if you wanted to, instead of a band pull, do a bent over row with that dumbbell um, to help compensate for that. I love the dueling workout. <laughs> Go wife. Handstand push-ups as an advanced alternative. Um, strict handstand push-ups, perhaps, but I would still prefer a strict press, uh, in my opinion. That would be what I would like. Use a chicken for the press, possibly, <laughs> although I don't know how they would take that. Tyler, I'm using two bags of tamales. Let's get this. I like that. I'll take tamales. That works, too. Okay, so, all right, I ran over in my explanation, um, but... Here we go, let's set up for our first set of press. Again, eight to 10, followed by eight to 10 of band pulls, and then a one minute rest together. So we're gonna kick this off in five, three, two, one. Here we go, eight to 10. Yep, take them, all yours. Eight, nine, ten. Band pulls. Do you want to take the red band? So, please excuse, guys. Please excuse my uh, my press weight. Nobody ever accused a rower of having a strong. A good push strength. I'm going to tie a band pull so you can have that one. I'm going to be right over here, guys. There you go. Eight to ten. One, two, three. No, it's okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One minute rest. Okay, I feel like I can already lose the top shirt in favor of the short sleeve shirt underneath. As with these workouts, things just get progressively more interesting. Round one, never, what are you looking for? All the bands are over here now. I put up a band hanger. So how's everybody doing today? What's going on in your world? Where in the world are you? I didn't see a lot of location checks. I saw a few, I saw a few. And I'm so sorry about missing Friday. We did end up saving the house. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, there's still water damage, but um, I think as far as best we could do, we helped out um, her parents. All right, let's go in 10 more seconds. Next round. And three, two, one, go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 10. All right, right into your band pull throughs. Hi, dog. The dog wanted to come say hi. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come here, pipes. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Say hi to everybody. The dog has come to join. This is Piper. She's our good girl. She's now a farm dog. She helps me hunt gophers. And she takes care of the chickens, actually. Kind of. She chases crows away. Huh. Huh. She's not a puppy. Okay. Bye, pups. She's not a huge fan of human interaction. <laughs> um, Danny, I hope the house is okay. Well, doing the best that it can. How's the flooded house? It's doing all right. A little, little bit of leaking here and there. Um, Scott, New York City, doing the workout with my 10-year-old, Nate. Nate, Aww, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. I'm so happy that you and Scott, I'm assuming, Dad. Um, yeah, it's, I love that, there, that Nate. Seriously, I love that you're here. This is amazing. Um, will I post the workout later? Yes, it always gets posted as soon as it's done. Colorado Springs, first time joining Teresa. Welcome from Sea Springs. I love Colorado Springs. Went to school in Colorado, in Gunnison. Um, well, in Shane's farm, there was a dog. <laughs> I get it. Okay, back to the press, you guys. There we go, round three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right under those band pull throughs, or band pulls, sorry, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, take that rest. Remember, the eight to ten is not a suggestion. If you can do ten, do ten. If you're going to fail, that makes our range acceptable. So you can get eight, and you're still in the range of success. If you can't get eight, then you've probably gone too heavy on whatever weight you're giving yourself. Gloria, first timer as well. Tyler giving a woot to Teresa. Uh, Edgewater, New Jersey, excited to do this. Love it, Madhu. Scott, yes, my son just made his day. Thanks, Shane. Scott, thanks for bringing Nate along. Nate, super pumped that you're joining us. This is super, this is really cool. Um, okay, guys, we're going back to our next set of presses here. Nope. 10 minutes will be when we hit 12 minutes on the big stopwatch. Yeah, 22. Sorry. Did I say 12? Going in 10 seconds, we're going to start our next set. Um, I have a dumbbell, 22 and a half kilos. <laughs> That's a heavy single uh, dumbbell. Love all the first timers. Welcome, Nate. Seriously, all the first timers. This is amazing, guys. Don't. Okay. Let's hit our set. I'll go to my next announcement after that. <sighs> this is like a mirror. You guys get to see me and give me a technique check. <sighs> Oh, that 
that's six. Okay, here we go. I can do this. <laughs> Presses always get heavy fast. Seven. Eight. Whoa. There we go. On to the bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! It's getting spicy already. It's kind of wet. Oh, we got three of them, so that one's okay. If we lose one, it won't be the end of the world. Control those negatives. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 22 and a half kilo. It's going to be heavy for this press. Smash that like button, everyone. Joanne, thank you so much. Uh oh, God. Timed out already. Ah, oh, I lent out my 25s. I need to go down and wait here for this last set. I lent out my 25s to a neighbor. Mm -hmm. And hydrate. We'll hydrate after this last round. He's, we're we're going to let other people have some fitness. We'll give him one set of 25s. We'll be okay. Okay. Let's hit this now, this last set. I have a feeling I'm not going to hit my rep range here. You can do it. <laughs> Thank you. If I shoot at the air, got it. Well, that's just shooting as I go. Right now, two, three, four, five, four. Oh, three more to hit just the rep range. I got greedy. Six. Seven. I need one more, people. Oh, there's my eight. Hey. Okay. Get those band pulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Whew. Okay, that's part one. Denise, now's your cue. Give it. Give that command. Drink, everybody. Take a hydration stop. Oh, yeah. You were pushing with me on that last press. I appreciate that. I needed everybody's effort there. Nothing bad on you, Shane. But I think you've stumbled on a golden opportunity, Mr. and Mrs. Farmer's workouts. She's she's the comedic relief. I'm comedic relief. <laughs> no, I mean you're the funny one of the two of us. Yeah, you bring the humor. Okay, guys. So up next. It's going to be another 10 minutes, so appreciate this this uh, relaxation moment. So up next, you're going to do another 10 minutes. It's going to be band flies by 10 to 12, and then single arm tricep pushdowns. So with the single arm tricep pushdowns, if you can be linking a band above you, great. If you don't have a band, if you only have a dumbbell, for example, you can be doing a standing tricep extension. You could also be doing a bent over tricep extension with that dumbbell. With a band, a single arm tricep pushdown is going to be singly, simply grabbing that band, and it's a straight arm pushdown, okay? 10 to 12 per arm, so that's your straight arm pushdown. You can also, if you want to, go two arms at once. I have single arm, but for the sake of giving you, of do, like getting it through it in time with you guys, I'm going to go both arms because the other one is a single arm. So a single arm banded fly. Also, if you don't have weight, guys, tricep extensions can be done 
from that standing position, you can basically go to any position you want without weight. It is a contraction. So it's a slow controlled contraction. Let me drop the camera a little bit. Um, my mom is dying doing this. I'm assuming it's dying in a good way. Um, so again, that, that contraction can be from a standstill position, squeezing every muscle in that arm possible, squeezing to extension, nice and slow, holding and contracting for three to five seconds, and then coming back up. I promise you will still get a workout. That's why I say that you can do any of these. Get a mama savage, yes. Um, you can do any of these without equipment, guys. Okay, so a single arm fly. You are going to take a band, loop it to a lower anchor point this time, and you're going to take that band, and you're going to come up and across your body, okay? Up and across your body, straight arm, okay? You're doing 10 to 12 per arm, all right? Again, the higher the tension, the more work it's going to be. She's sitting up. Can we just alternate? To yeah, we, absolutely. We'll, we'll alternate. Okay, <laughs> what do you want to start with? I'll start here. Okay. So, again, I'm going to go to double arm on the tricep extension. So, your rep scheme one more time. 10 minutes, band flies by 10 to 12 per arm. You're starting low and coming across, up, and high, keeping that arm straight, right? 10 to 12 of those per arm, followed by tricep pushdowns from a standing position, 10 to 12, and then we're resting a minute. Any questions? Upper pectoral, upper pectoral, and anterior delt as well, okay? So here we go. Uh, let's do this, guys. We're Starting in 10 seconds, I'm going to be watching wife while she does this. Yep. It might be heavy, but there's also the yellow band if you want to do it. And go. Okay. Give a nice squeeze and contraction at the bottom. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Do you want the yellow band for next time? Yeah, I can It's raining? Yeah, we cannot escape the rain here. It is weird. I've never seen this consistent a rain in San Diego. <laughs> All right. Let's get those flies. Sorry, I'm facing away from you guys, but. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Switching sides. Hello, very close to you right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, let's take that minute rest. Do you remember what minute mark we started at? Was it 26 or 25? I think it's 25. Okay. Wow. New business idea. What's that new business idea? Cat. I'm happy you stopped in. Is that the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Farmer's workout program? Laundromat fitness. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys get to see all angles. Yeah, this corner of the garage is our laundry room over there is my workshops so all my tools and everything that's behind the scenes you never really see behind the camera over there and then this side of the gym is all this side of the garage is all gym and then my desk is on wheels since it's right in the middle of it all so everything's modular in here built to move people built to move okay let's go in uh 15 wait for it 15 seconds, let's start the next round, okay? Yep, go for it. Yeah, there you go. You gotta give a contraction at the top though, and it's up and across. Meet my hand. 
There that we go. Up, like yep. above my shoulder? Yeah, like that. Yeah, and then squeeze and contract to the top. Oh, all right, here we go. We're starting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Guys, I want to take a reminder mid workout here. If you have not, please consider donating to Kelly Sullivan. Today's Kelly Sullivan Day. Fellow Lululemon ambassador here with me in San Diego at my very store who has uh, a month ago found out she has breast cancer. It's currently going through chemo with everything that's happening right now and has a child, her first child under one. So we are don't, we're asking for donations for this workout today. So please, if you will, the link's in the description. Go check out more about Kelly. You'll find the link to her GoFundMe there to help support and pay for her medical costs as she goes through all this. So um, if you're here and yeah, it's true, Denise, no cars allowed in this garage. Um, so guys, if you, uh, if you would, please, I'd really appreciate you guys helping her out. Go follow that link. That'd be amazing. Um, he wrote out of the womb. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'll answer that question. Let me, let's finish the flies here. Okay. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, my back's to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you okay? Nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so <clears throat> Scott, in answer to your question, <laughs> I am, I am uh, paying attention. I, uh, right. I started rowing when I was 19 uh, in college. I didn't find rowing until because <clears throat> I'm from rural Minnesota. Um, rowing is not a thing in rural Minnesota. We were surrounded by cornfields. Uh, hold on one second, everybody. Uh, um, so uh, I didn't start running until I got to San Diego and found um, the school that I was at. I thought I was going to play baseball. I missed tryouts. I just, a buddy across the hall had been recruited to row and he's like, hey, you're tall and lanky. You should give it a try. And thus I found rowing and I fell in love really quickly. Um, he slept through base. <laughs> Denise knows the story. Yeah. So college, uh, Scott and uh, Nate, uh, for you guys, I, um, I didn't start rowing until I was, I think, 19. And if you can get in younger, even better, because Nate, hint, hint, there aren't enough junior rowers out there to fill all of the spots needed in colleges. So if you can become a decent rower at a young age, it gives you like an in to school, like good schools that have rowing programs, because there just aren't enough juniors to fill those spots. So there's not nearly as much competition as if you were to be like, you know, basketball, football, baseball, all of those sports that everybody's doing. Um, got my old man to join the workout, James. Yes. Excellent job. Donation done. Nathan, thank you so much. Denise, good on you, James, old man. Hey, old man. Griffin, welcome, brother. Story time machine. Yeah, sorry, guys. Okay, back to our next round. I took way too much time, but... I like chatting with you guys. All right, here we go. Next set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You want to start on the tricep? Are the chickens hiding outside? <laughs> the rain's just coming and going, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, okay, three, four. Five, six, seven, yeah, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. Whee! That's what you're feeling right now. Eventually, Shane will catch on to the fact that we ask more questions so we can ask longer. <laughs> yeah, perhaps, perhaps. I am easily distracted. Wife will tell you that for sure. Yeah. As a coach, you could like negotiate with me all day long. So most of the time, I was pretty. I was pretty. I would stick to it, but sometimes I would let. <laughs> Apparently, they, they would all communicate before class. She used to. That's how we met. Was at the gym. Uh, they used to send her out an email about how they were going to distract me that day or get out of the workout. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's do one more set before we wrap this up. Let's uh let's hit it. Here we go. Push downs or your flies, whichever you're on. <laughs> Three. I like to think that means that I'm an empath. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. We got a call and our daughter uh, apparently answered the phone. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four. Did I just do 11 on the other side? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is there any chance that you can mute that? I got it. Done. Hi. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, James, when wifey comes in from outside, there's this pillar of light, then there emerges a human, a human being, and in she comes like the angel that she is walking into our workout. Nancy, if I could only talk my 18-year-old in a rowing, he loves weightlifting. He's now a, a CPT, so hopefully he will see the benefits like I do soon. It's amazing. There are lots of open slots. Scott, thanks, Shane. Nate said he's on it. I can't lie. I knew uh, your story. I followed you for a while. Just wanted him to hear it. And it worked. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I helped. Um, Danny, I have a feeling the wife will not work out today. Yeah, there's just, she's always managing. Um, <clears throat> she is an attorney, so she's actually the smart one of the two of us. But with everything happening right now, she's kind of ended up with like managing all of us. Um, she does way more work than I do, and she's way smarter than I am. Okay, so let's get ready for the next part of our workout, guys. So um, we're going to settle into part three of our workout, which is the workout portion. So the workout portion is going to be uh, two rounds, again, two rounds of eight minutes on, four minutes off. So essentially it's just eight minutes, four minutes rest, eight minutes, all right? It starts with a buy-in of a 1,000 meter row, ski, if you bike, then it's 2,000 meters, um, run, walk, box, toe taps, like something to elevate your heart rate for about three to four minutes. That's what the thousand meter range should be. So you're going to buy in followed then with the remainder of the eight minutes. So if that takes you four minutes, that means you have four minutes to do the AMRAP portion, the as, as many rounds as possible of 25 kettlebell swing type movements. So you can do a band pull through where you could anchor a band um, between your legs. Oh, you guys can't see this right now. Let me, let me Drop the camera here. So with that band anchored behind you, a band pull through is this, right? It's the equivalent of a kettlebell swing, or you can just do a kettlebell swing, right? If you have a kettlebell, you can use that kettlebell for kettlebell swing stuff, looking at me like that, undressing me with your eyes. Um, you can also, guys, sorry, I will move the camera off of just my legs. Um, you can do this with a dumbbell as well, holding the dumbbell between your two hands and swinging the dumbbell. Okay. If you do not have any weight, any weight or equipment whatsoever, then what I would ask 
is that you do 25 good mornings. So to simply a hip hinge, load up your hamstrings and your glutes, squeeze the butt and stand open. 25 of those with the hands on the head. Does that make sense? Any questions on how we are going to do that portion? Then you follow that with 25 sit-ups. That's an on the ground. You can go either <clears throat> knees uh, split, it's like a butterfly style with your feet together, or you can go straight leg for the sit-up, 25 of those. Or a gallon of water. Yes, you can absolutely swing a gallon of water. So um, those are kind of your mod options for today. And remember, it, they all open with that buy-in. So you gotta buy-in first, and then to get your score, you have to then hit the AMRAP portion. So for this, uh, I am going to restart the clock here. Reset. Okay, uh, what, what machine do you want to take? Well, you want to punch me on your bike, right? Uh, yes, but I can take any of them. It doesn't matter to me. I'd rather be on the bike. You want to be on the bike? Okay. Yep, I'll take the row then. Okay, so I'm going to sit this. Denise, I have not seen a drink call from you yet. Surprising. I have a glass for in front of me. I uh, just hope the dumbbell will not go through it. Yes, please don't let your dumbbell go through a glass window. Hold, hold tight to it. I claim no responsibility if you, <laughs> if you let it go through a window. So I'm gonna roll out Matt here and I'm gonna fold it over a few times so I have some tailbone protection. Um, I am going to take kettlebell as my option for swing, okay? Uh, so because I've got the equipment, I'm going to use it. Um, you gonna go next to me for the sit-ups? You gonna do what? The band pull through? Okay, I'll, let's lower it for you. Let's... Do you want a heavier band? Okay. Can you get it? <laughs> Jump! Jump! <laughs> She'll get it. She'll get it. There you go. All right, you got it. No knee height. Yeah, you want to pull back and down. Okay, guys, are there any questions before we start this workout? Just a reminder, just a reminder. Um, let's see, Denise, and hydrate. There you are. Good job. Thanks, Denise. Um, Philippe, uh, since I'm rowing, what will be my stroke rate? I'm probably going to shoot for 24 to 26. It's going to be my goal, um, but that's also because... I'm still in recovery mode, so you know I'm not at rowing capacity right now. Um, I'm still coming back from that. <laughs> yeah, that was. Hey, beautiful. The movie stopped. Uh oh. Yeah, come hang out with us. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this thing started. All right. Um, so a thousand meter buy-in, if you're on the bike, it's 2000 meters. Then it is as many rounds as possible left in the eight minutes of 25 kettlebell swing style movements. Um, that can be a band pull through. It can be a kettlebell swing, it can be a dumbbell swing, uh, or it can be just a simple hip hinge followed by 25 sit-ups. So we repeat through those 25s until the eight minutes is up. No questions that I can see. So we're going to get this thing started. I'm going to program a thousand meters on the machine. <laughs> Okie dokie. I am going to just row for this actually for the simplicity sake of getting the monitor set up. So since you're biking, you're doing 2000 meters. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Mitch, Kane, any ideas for good ways to improve rowing technique? Yes. Follow our YouTube channel. Recently got a rowing machine and I'm just a beginner. Mitch, honestly, uh, I say that in jest, but we just have so many videos out there that I would say just start perusing through the videos. And then come back once you've watched like all of them <laughs> and, uh, and hopefully, you know, by watching those, we'll have answered some of the questions for you. Denise, go get the dog. Then we'll have the whole family and maybe the chickens too. Let's see if we can get the chickens in here. Um, watch Shane's beginner videos. He teaches great farm. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, honestly, there are just so many resources there. You could probably stay busy for the next three weeks watching all of our videos and they'll probably give you pretty good insight. And then from there, um, you can, you can come back and, you know, we'll, we can answer some higher level questions at that point. Uh, there's a great one this weekend. Oh yeah, the workout, beginner workout on Sunday. Um, okay, is everybody ready? I am going to start the clock. We have eight minutes. Okay, 
Here we go. In three. Are you ready? Two, one, go. She's always ready, she says. All right. Eight minutes. Here we go. Get that buy-in, guys. Currently at a 24.25 on my rate. 146 for my split. One forty seven. Still at a 24 on my rate. There's the halfway point. Trying to pick my rate back up. Eight hundred meters. One hundred to go. Forty. Here's a thousand. All right. Twenty five swings. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Sit-ups. How are you doing, Mike? Oh, she's listening to music. One, two, 
three. Try to keep good posture here, guys. Four, five, don't dig your tailbones into the ground. Six, seven, eight. Sorry about the short, short shot right now. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, back to the kettlebell. Remember, the buy-in only happens once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, minute and a half left, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Sorry. Twenty five. Fifteen seconds. Time eight. Uh, no, you gotta buy rebuy in. No, no, you'll start over. Good question. She wanted to know if we would pick up where we left off, and if you need to remember the number, or if you start fresh, you start fresh next round. How did that feel? Questions, comments. I want to know. By the way, there's a great comment last time, babe. Every time you would walk through the door, it would make this big glowing light and then you would walk in. You were like the angel walking in, yeah. the angel entering into all of our live stream. Joe, beginner videos work best. Still using them for daily warmups, awesome. Denise, I improved my form a lot by following along with the video, matching my leg, hip and elbow bends from Shane's. Gives you a feel for the flow. What stroke rate? I was at 24 basically the whole time. Dropped to 23 towards the end there. I was trying to pick it back up. Need more air and hydrate. Liked it. Missed this kind of training. Oh, I got you covered, Danny. Joanne, do you have wife's sit-up ball on your product list? I do not. I will add that. Um, my heaviest dumbbell is 35, so I did burpees instead of the kettlebell swings. Rough. My dad testifies in the beginner workout videos. <laughs> Wait, so you did 25 burpees instead of kettlebell swings? That's something. I'm going to readjust. I think that's better keeping that angle because now you guys can see me while I row. And uh, I don't have to change the camera angle. This is awesome. It reminds me of the good old days. <laughs> good, Tyler. Tyler and I suffered through some serious times together when we were rowing. Um, so we got 12 minutes, right? Eight, four. Yeah. All right. Two more minutes of rest, guys. Two more minutes. 
Make sure you hydrate if you've got water nearby, which I do now because Denise has been so good about reminding us all to drink. Uh, 20. Yes, I'll be repeating this workout another day. Don't worry, Denise. I'm going to be trying to craft more workouts like this in the future. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Nancy Cook, love, love all the videos from Dark Horse. Y'all are amazing. Truly has helped me. How many videos out there now? A hundred? Like total videos? I think we're probably, I don't know, five, six, seven hundred, something like that. Total. Been doing it for a long time. One more minute of rest. Actually, fun story, Tyler, that you guys see in the comments, Tyler Combs, he actually is the reason I was able to start filming. So for the first year, maybe two, I think it was like two years, maybe, um, Tyler had a, has um, an agency and they were the ones that I would film with. So Tyler is the reason that this whole channel was even able to get off the ground. Smash that like button, people, while you can still lift your arms. There's, there's not a whole lot of arm movement in this in this part of the workout. Uh, 40, yeah, 40 seconds to go. Get ready for round two, guys. Again, 1,000 meter buy-in, 2,000 if you're on the bike. Um, Teresa, thank you. This was awesome. Glad you liked it. Come back for more. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, you're going to see this style workout. Tuesday, Thursdays are going to be more aerobic. Um, thank you, Tyler from Danny. 15 seconds to go. Wife's on top of it. Okay, here we go. We're going to pick up 10 seconds. Same thousand meters on the ski, the row, whatever. Five, three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway. Seven fifty. One quarter left.
100 left. Twenty thousand. What? Back at the beginning, guys. I don't think so. <laughs> Ten. Eighteen. Twenty-four, twenty-five. I think. I feel like I lost track a little bit on that one. Four, twenty-five. Watch out! Oh no! <laughs> Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five. Oh, look out! This one's getting swung, Ken. Yeah. 
12 to 20, right? No, eight minutes. From 12 plus eight, that's 20. <laughs> that's impossible to know math. Ugh. Um, sorry, catching up with comments here. Janita, YouTube videos are great. So is the crew training if you want more structure to follow. And get excited because there's a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna be updating with the crew, adding resources, adding communication, adding, adding, adding. So get excited, keep your eyes out for that. And I'll probably talk about it here when it goes live. Um, Scott, uh, Danny says, thank you, Todd. Scott, Nate's hanging in there. He's on the rower and I'm using the assault bike. Awesome. Uh, Mitiko Lazio, go. Woo, woo, little one, kettlebells. <laughs> They're cheering you on, Kent. So cute. Take care of her. working on it. Best workout ever. Really? I'm glad you liked it. Philippe, that was good. Whoa, that was great. My pleasure. Shane is genuine and the real deal. Shane loved it. Ah, <laughs> hi. You bouncing? Yeah. <laughs> Puddles of sweat. No. 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 I'm sweaty right now. Yeah. I got you sweaty. I know. I'm sweaty. <laughs> um, Puddles of sweat. Yeah. Is there a reason I'm doing Russian versus American kettle swings? Yes. Very intentional. Um, James, number one. There's no... In my opinion, there's no added benefit to taking a Russian kettlebell swing to American. The only things that it does are number one, it increases opportunity for, for error, right? Which risks, results in injury. So increasing risk with minimal upside to it. If you're a competitive CrossFitter, then you need to be able to do it. But for all parts of training, otherwise, the, the added effort to taking it overhead adds a lot of danger with very little benefit for most people that's not valuable the purpose of a kettlebell swing is to develop dynamic hip opening so that's the intention behind a russian versus an american swing it's what um i was taught to do we were we always trained with american swings the only time we went to american was when we got close to competition season so you know right before the open we might switch to some workouts with american but even then it was pretty rare because you just need to develop the dynamic hip opening. And then all that matters is you understand the technique of how to take in competition at a Russian and change it to an American swing, which is not this big loping swing, but instead it's more of like a double snatch um, kind of movement, if that makes sense. Hope that makes sense, James. Um, wow, hello to the little one. Great stuff as always, thank you. Thanks for a great workout. Off to find that donate link. Yes, please, please, please guys. Today is Kelly Sullivan Day. If you came in late, we are doing this workout in honor of Kelly Sullivan. She's a fellow Lululemon ambassador at my store here in San Diego. She's a new mom um, who a month ago was diagnosed with breast cancer and is um, currently going through chemo. And with everything that's happening right now, with COVID and all of us stuck at home, she's having to spend her time um, at chemo centers, not where you want to be, and again, dealing with you know, having to a, a working spouse and trying to take care of their under one year old, right? Their infant, um, not quite their child, not quite a toddler yet at that age. But um, anyway, so please, please, please do go donate um, if you can. Uh, super motivating guys. Tyler says super motivating guys to be working out as a team. Seeing 45 plus folks finishing was boss childcare and work from home away. It's love you guys. Love you, Ty. Thanks for coming, buddy. Uh, James, interesting. I've, I've almost always done Russian. Good to know. Yeah. Nancy, stop. Um, yeah, James. So really there's the benefits to going overhead are just negligible while the risk increases significantly, right? What happens if the kettlebell goes too far behind? What if that person doesn't have good shoulder mobility overhead? What if they don't have the strength to take that kettlebell up? And now you get a drop a kettlebell that, you know, goes up and then drops while it's over their head, their grip goes out, right? Just a host of things come in to become a problem when you go overhead versus sighting just that kettlebell each time. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's my intention. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm not like a master of kettlebell. I've taken um, the CrossFit kettlebell course. I do love kettlebells, so I use them quite a bit. Um, but uh, that's just my belief, my, my philosophy behind that. So guys, uh, any questions while we're here finishing up? I, I enjoyed that. Did you like that? Is that a phone one? Yeah. 
Yeah. She's been, she goes to the gym nearby and is, you know, having to deal with, you know, the written workouts right now. And all these coaches and gym owners are writing pretty complex workouts because they're so used to that in a gym setting where a coach is executing it, but it's a little bit harder when we're all at home trying to, to execute the same thing. So, um, okay. Uh, updates. Let's see. Tomorrow morning, 3 a.m., new workout, uh, not new workout, new video goes live. Top five exercises I think that you can be performing at home to give yourself a great workout. So if you're enjoying this, um, Shane, add the BOSU ball and a heart rate monitor to your favorite equipment links, please. You got it. I will do that. Um, also, it's it's uh, just for your guys' reference, like if you wanted to use our affiliate links for that, as long as you click one of those links and then go on in that session to make the purchase, I believe we still get credit for it. So um, do know that, you know, if you use the link to drive yourself to Amazon and then you search for other products, we do make the, the affiliate um, percentage off of that still. So if you, you know, are wanting to do that, um, definitely appreciate it. Got my Dark Horse Swag ordered. Can't wait. James, I saw it. You ordered the, the Krumer shirt and the, uh, and the sticker, right? The Dark Horse skeleton, um, the horse head skeleton sticker. I love, I, I love that one, by the way. Shane, thanks so much. That was awesome. You got another fan today, Scott and Nate. Nate, seriously, my friend, welcome to the family. I really hope that you enjoyed yourself. Please come back and join us. Um, I mean it. It's really special having um, younger community here. And I appreciate, hopefully you can find your way into rowing if it interests you, of course, you have to enjoy it. But if you find yourself enjoying this, you have a potential future there. You know, it's, it's a great thing to, to focus on. I love the sport. I think it's incredible. And I hope you find something that you enjoy. And I hope you enjoy your time with us. Um, uh, Joanne, thanks, Shane. Going to donate for Kelly now. Love it, guys. Thank you so much. Waiting for that hat on order. Joanne, I, uh, Friday, is that when you submitted it, I think? Um, if so, it got slightly on pause. I had to clear it. Um, James, later. Uh, Joanne, I had to clear it, I think, later that day. So I believe maybe Saturday is when the uh, order went in. So it should it's in process now, so don't worry about that. Um, Denise, I still want you to re relist the hat you're wearing, please. Okay, maybe I will go and do that. I'll relist this one. Just for you guys. Uh, yes, sir. Much love, deuces, Meg. Good workout for today. See you next workout. Have a good day. See you all tomorrow. Again, 8 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Thank you, Shane. See you tomorrow. And going for the donation now. Amazing. You guys are incredible. Philippe, um, thanks, Shane. I'll be joining you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Mike, G, any handy care tips for frequent rowers? Um, lots of videos on them. Go check them out. Uh, and actually have a, a good stretch one coming up in two weeks uh, that we just filmed. So there'll be like a good rowers beginner stretch session for all of you coming uh, soon as well. So I love you guys. We'll see you all tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific time. Have a wonderful day. Go do some good in the world.